a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. Hey, on uh, here's a there's a, always a thing, and I used to wonder about this when I was growing up in business and doing things is how do you get work-life balance, right? Like, and this to me is a kind of a mythical kind of concept and question that I think a lot of newer entrepreneurs and even, even people that have been entrepreneurs for a while start really struggling with. I think you and I have very similar kind of thoughts on this, but I want to hear, I think we do, but I'd like to hear your take, you know, on it. Like when they're trying to figure this out, what's the advice? Because I, I know a lot of entrepreneurs, I've done it that have struggled with really understanding what that is. And then when I, when I learned what it was, and I'll share that after we get your insight, but it's truly, it's different than what I thought it was, but what's your take on that? Yeah. My thought is balance is a, a lie. Um, I, again, what does the word mean of balance? You know, it's like, Oh, I want to spend time with my family. Okay. Well, if you're fat, if you're overweight, sitting on the couch, watching TV with your family, and yet knowing you should have your ass in the gym, working extra hour, doing this, doing that, but you can't pay your electric bill, but you have Netflix on. Like, is that balance? Because you're with your family and you're not – like, I, like, what does balance mean? Um, to me, it's not about balance, it's about priorities. And uh, we live in an ever-evolving world. Like, our kids right now, my balance and focus is my kids today. I know they're going to be out of the house, what, 18 years now, 15 years, 12 years, whatever. So my focus will shift. It will be different. My days will look different. My time and energy will be different. Uh, lots of stuff will be different. Shit, it's going to be different when they get 12 years old, right? I mean, you know, this, they, as your kids are getting older, now they have all these sports and they have this and they have that. So now instead of working whenever we want and kind of just getting shit done, we, gotta work. we actually got to kind of structure our day, you know, eight, you know, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. till 8 a.m. This happens, 8 to 12, like start time blocking. Um, I think it depends. I'm not the most, I'm not, I, I, I'm not like a balanced guy. So, but like, if I, I do know, like with the event going on right now, even I went to Dean and the kids were hanging out lunch, dinner and I'm like, guys, listen, it's going to be a little crazy for the next five days. I got a lot to do. I got a lot of meetings. I got a lot of calls, got a lot of cool stuff going on, but here's why I'm doing it. Like sharing the, why you're doing it, what's going on. Just like if your, your kid's preparing for a tournament, man, they got to put in the extra work. You know, but it's not like, oh, I need balance. No, dude, I'm trying to fucking win this game. I got to get in the game and I got to, I got to overdo it. Guys like us typically overdo everything. You know, trust me, I'm hung out with Nate drinking. We overdo it. We're overachievers. <laughs> and, uh, but no, like that's kind of where we have that all in mentality. So to me, I don't think it's balance or seeking. I think it's priority direction they're seeking. You know what I mean? It's like, what is your priorities? I don't travel without my family. I'm not good when I do. When I don't, when my family's not with me, I stay out too late, I drink too late, I do stuff I shouldn't do, like blah, blah, blah. So instead, I just, okay, that's a priority to me is take them with me everywhere I go. Hence, I don't go that many places because I don't want to travel all over anymore like I used to. So, you know, it, again, it's, I think it's just having an open dialogue with yourself and the people you care about around you and just know what your unique ability is, know what you're really trying to accomplish and, and know that balance is really <laughs> not, not a, a thing in my, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm similar in that in regards to the balances. I think it's it's mythical, right? Like people think there's this, you get 24 hours in a day, you're going to spend eight hours sleeping, you're going to spend eight hours working, you're going to spend eight hours with family. Like it's, if you have a family, right? And it's just not a feasible thing. I, I, my thought is you have seasons of life. There's seasons where the number one priority is, is the business or businesses you're working on. Then you've got a season of life where you got to focus all into your family. And there, you know, you have these seasons what I find is most people get stuck in one, right? They get stuck in a season and then they don't look, and then they look up and go, uh Oh, I neglected this, 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 and this, right? So it, it balance doesn't mean equality of time no. either. Right. It means, it, it means more of, to me, it's, it's present time, not, not equality of time. Right. Presence. Yeah. Dude, yeah like picture if you're there eight hours. Well, first of all, if I'm hanging out with my kids for eight hours, someone's going crazy. Maybe them, maybe me, but, you know, at the end of the day, like you said, if you're not present for seven and a half of those hours, but you're there eight hours because you're balancing your life, like, dude, again, people, you can make anything right or wrong in your brain. You know what I mean? So like, oh, I'm, I'm with my family. It's like, dude, what did I just say two minutes ago, two hours ago, two, 20 hours? Like, they don't know because they're too consumed with themselves. I think the thing is, too, is it's not just about, it's like progression. Like, I'm progressing with the family. I'm, I'm growing with them. You know, we talk about the athletics, like, seasons right like you're saying like it's a big deal yeah. um I, yeah I, I think you're right man i think most people are stuck and and i don't know if it's a rut or a season or both <laughs> but uh another thing too nate we have guys in our life like you and other 
guys in the DM family, like we push each other up. You know what I mean? We're not pushing each other down. I think a lot of guys and gals are like around other people that are, are settling and say, and it's saying bullshit like, Hey man, I'm a balanced guy. And they're really not keep mind. They're about to get a divorce. Their kids hate them. Their dog won't look at them, but they're balanced because it sounds cool and it makes them sell product. Like just be honest about like, sometimes I'm super unbalanced, whatever that means, but I'm progressing. I'm growing. I'm conversating with the family. It's all communication with yourself and, and the people around you.